Good morning. It is a beautiful, surprisingly beautiful. Is it beautiful still? Uh, uh, okay, well, the clouds are starting to come, but this entire past week has been, ugh, just, yeah, ugh, no, not, not the greatest. It's been raining, very humid, hot, and raining this entire week, the past week. Also supposed to rain for the majority of this weekend, but surprisingly, when I woke up, there was like slightly blue skies um, and sunny, and right now it's still decently sunny, but we'll see how long it lasts. Anyways, I am going to be taking you along with me this weekend because I actually plan on doing stuff. Um, the past few weekends, I've just been very, very lazy and not wanting to do anything. Uh, but anyways, this past week, this past week has been very hectic. I ended up falling asleep last night, Friday night at like eight o'clock. It was a very tiring week. Um, this entire week we had middle school lessons to do. So we were teaching middle schoolers all day, which is very different from elementary what we usually teach at my English center. So it was... It was very chaotic, lots of energy, but also not energy. See, the thing that I've noticed with elementary and middle schoolers, obviously, every school is different. And then within that school, you have a bunch of different personalities and types of students. Um, but majority on average, elementary students are usually very much more excited and motivated to participate in uh, English lessons at the center. Um, and so they oftentimes will bring the energy into the room and then you can just absorb their kind of energy and like that's how you get the en your energy to teach kind of that's how I think of it um, whereas middle schoolers generally are just tired and exhausted and so whenever they come to the English center or we go to them, they don't really want to do anything because they're not getting graded for it or anything. It's just kind of like an extra curriculum English lesson type of thing. Um, so usually you have to put your energy into them to get them motivated and excited. Not all of them, obviously. So the elementary kids give you their energy and the middle schoolers, you have to give your energy to them in order to have a fun and participating, participative lesson. Is participative a word or am I just making that up? Anyway, so that was this entire week was me trying to <sighs> exhaust my energy source and throw it at the kids. But for the most part, had a lot of fun, um, especially Monday through Wednesday, had really great kids. Thursday and Friday, not the best, to be honest. Friday, my last class uh, ended with a physical fight between two boys that I and some of the other students and the teachers had to break up. So that was a first for me, actually. Um, that's not, that's a very rare case to happen. But anyways, that's that. Um, it is now the weekend. So like I said, I'm going to be taking you with me along in Jeonju, where I live. Um, so today I have plans to meet up a friend for lunch and then probably hit up some cafes in one of my favorite areas of the city. Um, and then tomorrow I also plan on going to like a museum. I'm gonna finish getting ready and then I will also, oh, another kind of update is that I haven't actually, well, I haven't made a video on this channel for a while. So last weekend, actually, I started another channel. So if you go back to like the beginnings of this channel, you will notice there are a few book related videos that I did. Back in high school, I actually started a booktube channel where I talked about books when I was in my like my sophomore or junior year of high school I had another channel but I was too overwhelmed by social media so I ended up deleting it after like two or three months <laughs> and then um, I started this channel which 
it's just a collection of random things. But I have now since decided to restart a booktube channel. So if you want to check out that, I will link it down below. I've named it Piscean Reads because I am a Pisces, sun and moon, and I like reading. <laughs> so there's that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, so anyways, if you're interested in book related content, I will be posting up there For a while now, I've been wanting to post more book orientated videos, but then this channel kind of turned more into a vlogging daily life in Korea plus painting channel, which I'm still going to keep it like that I am just all over the place right now Anyways, this for sure will be my daily life in Korea stuff plus painting and the other channel, my booktube channel will be book related and journaling related content. So if you're interested in that, those kind of things, you can check that out. And I am going to get ready and then I'm actually going to film a book, a video to put on my book channel and then we will head out. So yeah, I will catch you later. I didn't think it 